people across the world had tuned in when the splashdown happened. What are the lessons that we take from this one? Of course, there's appreciation, uh, the teamwork that we are looking at, but the kind of space mission that started in the first place and all that, that has been achieved here, specifically when we look at future missions. Yeah, I think um, she was able to survive for nine, nine months uh, when it was um, like eight days mission. So I think, um, so that's where I think, um, you know, the same experience and the data that's being collected from this, uh, this whole particular scenario uh, could be actually utilized for a Mars mission, for example, in future, because uh, going to Mars takes approximately nine months and it's going to be stressful for the first time and therefore um, I think uh, this, uh, the data that's been collected for the last nine months will be very handy in that case. Sanjay, also tell me this. What do you think when we talk about ISRO, for example? Uh, what do you think India can take lessons from when it comes to collaborations, when it comes to amping up our own infrastructure, even though, of course, we literally work on a budget compared to the Western nations? See, the first thing you need to get off the ground. So you need a bigger rocket, um, which is much more powerful uh, than what we have at the moment. So that's the first step to do. And then the second thing is to think about what we need to uh, put mm. into space. So uh, when you're able to lift uh, maybe 40 tons at a time, four times the capability that we have today, that will, be, uh, that will give us an edge. So that's where I would begin with. All right, so that would be important. And remember, we're already looking at, like he's mentioning, whether it's about uh, reusable rockets, trying to also ensure that uh, on a certain budget that we are going to also go ahead with the with the missions and to that shouldn't be a setback for us in any way professor pd sahare how does this add on to the research to the data that we have been looking at that possibly have come in from this for example i know that even from mangalyaan and chandrayaan missions it isn't just about isro the usa and other nations and their space organizations have also picked up on the research data that isro scientists brought in uh, with the from the from the cra from the spacecrafts and they were able to then add on to a collective knowledge. Do you think we are looking at this here as well as a world collaboration? Yeah, of course. Earlier also there had been collaboration with uh, ISRO and NASA. Now there will be collaboration with some uh, Japanese uh, uh, this thing mission and uh, and ISRO. So there had been earlier also some collaboration and in future also there will be. Because we may have some payloads or some equipment, some other good equipment can come from um, uh, other organization and we can have collaborative expedition. Not only that, the staying over here for nine months and the effect of all sort of effects, effect of microgravity, effect of the radiation, effect of all other uh, things uh, staying long over there, your mental state, everything will count and all these data will be very, very useful. Not only that, when we will have future expeditions, we will have to plan uh, contingency or contingent some plans so that we'll also l learn if some uh, kind of some technical problem is there what kind of plans we can have if there is a plan a fails what will what kind of plan a b plan b we will have so all sort of uh, these things will be planned and uh, we'll learn from all these things not only that uh, when in ne near future, when we before sending a human being on the moon, we'll have to send maybe there would be some uh, um, uh, robotics kind of uh, things firstly. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, backed with the uh, oh. all the AI and all that, mm -hmm. they will be sent. All these again data will be collected because human life is very precious. So mm -hmm. before sending and mm -hmm. anything happened, and then earlier also there had been some accidents, and then we, uh, there in some um, loss of life so for that sake all these kind of whatever kind of uh, data comes that's from... right that's why isro is also planning with the <laughs> biomitra humanoid robo, robo before we send the gaganyan crude flight stay on with me gentlemen because uh, let's listen in to what isro chief dr v narayan said because remember it was the world watching all the scientists astronauts were tuned in because eventually it's about a collective effort here's what the isro chief said Sir, uh, what we saw was absolutely stunning. Please tell us as a scientist yourself, how do you look at the big occasion that we all witnessed at 3.28 Indian Standard Time? Um, uh, first of all,
first of all i would like to say you are so excited um, me and my officer on special duty in uh, uh, delhi uh, mr rajiv uh, we both uh, we are so excited more we are watching the entire progress uh, without even sleeping one second and that is the type of excitement what is there and uh, we have we have to understand appreciate everything and it is a phenomenal thing and outstanding thing what happened in the scientific community scientific era science and technology development area i don't uh, consider the x country y country i don't consider but then it's a, as for a, as for the scientific community is concerned what happened is a phenomenal thing and i was yesterday also i told you know i am having 100% confidence uh, madam will be safely the flash uh, brought and flashed down because we are we continuously keeping watch of the mission mm-hmm. how it got the deed or how it is moving being a propulsion expert i also can understand and appreciate uh, how the propulsion system is working and uh, then uh, we were so much uh, excited to understand um, the way the mission happened and uh, then finally uh, i am extremely happy to see all the four astronauts smiling and in fact uh, uh, we are we are also smiling to be frank um, we are a team working on in the similar game uh, i think you can understand and appreciate us uh, so really it is a really good achievement for the scientific community that much only i can tell you.